Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix KB update error or update KB5050094 or KB5050577 is not installing or updating on your Windows 11 and how we can fix this up so let me directly get into this. So the first one is audible, we need to run or start app readiness services. So just go over here. We have to type services first. Now click on this one. And now you'll be getting plenty of details over here for the services. And right now you can see this is app readiness. Now we have to right click over here and we have to go to the properties. Now from here we have to change this one to automatic. Now from here we have to go for apply, go for start. Now once it has been started, what you need to do is after it is done, you just need to make sure it is running. And now we need to go back to your Windows update and you have to try check. You have to check whether you are able to update or not. So even after trying with the first step, if it's still having the cumulative updates and all those things, your KB update is not working like this. Most probably you have to follow the next instruction. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do. Is we just need to move a file. So just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk C. Now we can see there is a folder named Dr. Dollar Win Reagent. So if you don't find this, most probably this would be like by default, like this will be like this. So if I uncheck this, you'll not be able to see. So most probably when you try to go back to the file explorer and you navigate to this PC and try to open local disk C, you will not be able to find this. So if that is the case, just go over here in the view option. Now if you hit go over here in the view option, go for show and click on hidden item. So now you'll be able to find this. So what we need to do is just copy this particular file and you have to paste it over here in the desktop. Just paste it over here. And once it is successfully pasted, you are fine with it. Once it is pasted, we can just delete it. You can delete the respective folder. So after it is successfully done with the pasting just go back to the file explorer and now you can delete the respective folder after it is successfully copied so right now the copy is in process so let me wait the switch completely done and let me make sure it is completely done in the desktop so once it is done just close this and you can see dollar green reagent is copied and successfully done in the desktop now i need to go back to the file explorer go to this pc go to local disk c and if I find the folder here, just go over here and we need to delete it. So once the respective folder is successfully deleted, once it is successfully deleted, you need to go back to your system, I mean to the settings and try updating your windows. So if the update is done, after updating, you can restart the PC. If updating is not processed or you don't have any option to update. So what we need to do is let me move to the next step. Next step is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to run update troubleshooter. So just go over here search for settings now from here we have to navigate to settings go over here in the system go over here in the system from here we have to scroll down and navigate to troubleshoot from here go to other troubleshooters now from here we have to scroll down and there is an option to windows update so this is the windows update click on run now from here we have to click on run and you have to run this particular troubleshoot so just go over here and you have to run the particular troubleshoot so after the troubleshoot is successfully done we can try and you can check and try updating the windows still most probably you'll be having the trouble if that is the case we have to move to the next step next step is all about we need to restart windows update and background intelligent services we have to update it so just go over here let me search for the services once again like we did for the first step just go over here now from here we have to first navigate to Windows Update. So keep scrolling down and navigate to Windows Update. So just scroll down and navigate to Windows Update. So you'll be able to find the Windows Updates of Merrill's here. This is the Windows Update. So just right click over here, go to the properties, change this to, from if it isn't manual, you can change this to manual. Not to manual, you have to change this to automatic. Go for apply. Now, if you have start, you can go full start. Just go over here. Okay. Once afterwards, just go over here. Go to restart. Now it is going to get restarted. So the particular order is getting restarted and it is up and running. Now we have to go for the next one. That is background intelligent service. So just go over here at the top. So here we have to find it. 
so over here we'll be able to find it background transfer background intelligent transfer services so this is what we have to do right click go to the properties go over here and change this to automatic go for apply go for start now once it is successfully done what we need to do is we just need to close this go over here right click go to restart once again and once this is up and run up up and it is running successfully we have to move to the next step just go over here try updating still if you're having the trouble we need to use the windows installation assistant so i'll be providing a link in the description to that will take you to the windows installation assistant so just copy this and paste it over here in your google chrome and we have to search for this so go over here so if you need the windows 11 installation assistant just go over here and you can download this and once it's successfully downloaded we can see it will be getting downloaded over here so it is around uh, once it's successfully downloaded you have to open this and you have to run the .exe and you might be having an option to update it from within this itself so i'll be showing you let us wait this switch it completely done once it is done just open this and we have to run this .exe let me run this Now, as you can see, I'm turning on the latest version, so I don't have any option to update it. But most probably, you'll be having an option to update it, so we need to update. Next one, we have to close this. Next step is we need we need to use Microsoft Update Catalog. So just go to this particular link. Now we have to type what is your KB update. So I'm having the issue with the KB, so I'm going to give the respective number over here. That is KB five zero five zero zero. 94 is mine so i have to type the respective one so based on your requirement you have to type it and go for search now when you go for the search you'll be getting this option details over here now you have two options so 2025 zero one cumulative update preview for windows 11 version which is 24 h24 x64 based which is for ARM64 based. So first we need to know which, which one is your PC's configuration. So just go over here, navigate to the settings. Now from here, you can directly navigate to system. Now from here, go over here, scroll down, go to the about. Now from here, it is visible. That is minus 64 bit operating system with x64 based processor. So I need to download this one. So I have to download this one. And once I downloaded this one, I have to install this. Okay, so you have to install it based upon your PC's configuration. So you don't, do not worry on the languages. You can get all the details over here. So which one is yours requirement? For example, you have many options from here. So you have to select the respective one and you have to download it. So once it's successfully downloaded, you're fine with it. And you can try installing this and update. So just go over here, not this one. Based on this select which one is your based on x64 or if you're on arm 64 now you can go for download so you can download the respective one and you can install it that's what you have to do even after trying with the t if you're having the trouble we need to do one very important step that is we need to reset all the update windows component so what i do is i'll be just giving you something in the description like this i'll be keeping this in the description so you don't have to worry so just copy and paste this particular one in a notepad like this you have to paste it in the notepad now we need to save it after pasting this go over here and go to save as now we have to first change save it as old file and here we have to give the name that is view fix okay you have to give the name view fix dot bat so you have to give view fix dot bat and we need to save it in the desktop so just go over here and save it in the desktop and once it is saved it in the desktop, this is how it looks like. So first you have to copy paste, which will be in the description. And you have to paste it in a note like this. You have to add it on the note. Then you have to save it like I said. Now we have to right click. Now go to run as an administrator. Go for yes. Now, as you can see, it is going through a lot of process like this. It will be uh, you know, updating all the Windows component, which is going to take a lot of time. So once everything is successfully done, after this is successfully done and it is done, what you need to do is we just need to uh, run this we can do a restart and most probably that will be why so and as you can see everything is running so right now every 
set of update components will be rendering over here. And once everything is successfully done, as you can see, this successfully stop it. And it is successfully done. Everything is successfully done here. And once it is successfully done, just close this and you have to try and check whether you are able to fix the issue. So these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. Bye.